Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am here with another new tutorial related to MOS transistors. Did you know why does PMOS pass a strong logic 1 and NMOS pass a strong logic 0? In this video, I am going to explain it. This is one of the common question asked during physical design interview. So without any further delay, let's get started. As we already know, there are two types of MOS transistors, PMOS and NMOS which are having three main terminals, gate, source and the drain terminal. To turn on a MOS transistor, we must follow one condition that is VGS has to be greater than or equal to VTH, where VGS stands for voltage between gate and source terminal and VTH stands for the threshold voltage. If this condition is met, then only it behaves like a perfect closed circuit and it helps to pass the source input directly to the drain output terminal. Before starting the discussion on this topic, we must be aware about two main terminologies. Those are closed circuit and open circuit. Closed circuit will form only when the electricity is flowing from source to drain terminal or vice versa. Whereas open circuit means there is no electricity flowing between the source and the drain terminal. That means there is no connection between source and the drain terminal. Now let's try to see how PMOS passes strong logic 1 and weak logic 0. Here we need to keep in mind the conditions for PMOS to turn on and off. So for PMOS to turn on, VSG has to be greater than or equal to modulus of VTP. Please note that this VTP is actually the threshold voltage for PMOS. Why we are applying this modulus here? Because for PMOS the threshold voltage is negative. That's why to get positive value we are using this modulus. And also look into this diagram. Here for PMOS source terminal will be connected to VDD. Drain terminal will be connected to VSS. Since source terminal is connected to VDD which is having higher potential value, so we are naming this voltage that is voltage between gate and source that is we are naming as higher potential terminal than the lower potential terminal. So VSG, we are naming it as VSG. Now if VSG is less than modulus of VTP, that means PMOS will be turned off. So PMOS will pass strong logic 1 only when there is a low input voltage applied on the circuit or the gate voltage is very low. That means it will actually form a closed circuit and it will be turned on. But if PMOS, but if we are applying high input voltage, that means if we are applying high gate voltage, that time it will create an open circuit and it will be off. That is the time PMOS will pass weak logic 0. So let's try to analyze these conditions with an example. So first concentrate on how PMOS is passing strong logic 1. Let's consider we are having a low input voltage that is VG is equal to 0 volt. And since VDD is connected to source terminal, so VS is equal to VDD that is 5 volt. Now also we are having the threshold voltage as minus 1 volt. So the modulus of, v, of VTP will be 1 volt. Now let's try to calculate VSG. So VS minus VG that is VS is the higher, term, uh, higher potential value. So we are having 5 volt and VG is 0 volt. So 5 minus 0, 5 volt. So 5 volt is more than 1 volt. That means VSG is greater than or equal to more than greater than or equal to the modulus of VTP. That means they, it is actually creating a closed circuit. That means it is actually creating a closed circuit between source and the drain. So that current will be flowing from this source terminal to the drain terminal. Why current will flow from source to drain? Because source terminal is the having the higher potential value because it is connected to VDD. It, since it is connected to VDD, so the current or the electricity will flow from source to drain. And also since it is a closed circuit, so whatever source input value will be there, exactly same the drain output value will be, it will be passed to the exact drain output terminal. So VD will be equal to VS that is 5 volt. So at low input voltage, VS will be equal to VD. VD. 
that means we are actually passing logic 1 that is the high value to the brain output terminal that's why pmos passes strong logic 1 at low input voltage now let's see how pmos passes weak logic 0 so let's say we are applying high input voltage on the circuit so vg is equal to 5 volt and let's say vs is 0 0.8 volt why not 0 volt because source terminal is connected to vdd and vdd can never be in zero so vdd there has to be certain voltage right we can't keep it like a zero it has it can be 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.8 something but there has to be certain voltage it can't be directly zero or negative vdd can never be zero or negative that's why let's say we are considering vs is 0 0.8 volt and same threshold voltage that is modulus of vtp is one volt now let's try to calculate vsg Vs minus Vg that is 0 0.8 minus 5 volt will be equal to minus 4.2 volt. So we are getting a negative value which is actually less than modulus of Vtp. So Vsg is less than modulus of Vtp. That's why it is creating an open circuit between source and the drain terminal. So no electricity will be flow. No, not a single value from source input will be passed to the uh, drain output. That's why it is totally turning off. So whenever we are passing a high input voltage and whenever we are uh, having this, uh, uh, if we are having very low uh, source uh, input voltage, then it is like PMOS is passing weak logic zero. Logic zero means low, very low. So VS was already in a logic uh, logic zero uh, it was consisting logic zero value and it was not able to pass it to drain output terminal because it became an open circuit that's why it is saying as pmos passes weak logic zero now let's see how nmos passes strong logic zero and weak logic one first let's consider it on what is the condition to turn on nmos transistor so to turn on nmos VGS has to be greater than or equal to VTN. So if you have noticed here, we are not using any modulus here. Why? Because for NMOS, the threshold voltage is already positive. It will never be negative. It will always be positive. That's why we don't need any modulus here. Now, for NMOS, drain terminal will always be connected to the higher potential value or VDD and source terminal will be connected to VSS. Okay. Now, if we see generally the gate voltage will be equal to VDD in general for NMOS and that's why we are naming it as VGS. Now, if VGS is less than VTN, that means NMOS will be turned off. So, NMOS will pass strong logic zero whenever there is a high input voltage. So, it will create a closed circuit and it will be turned on. Whereas NMOS will pass weak logic 1 if, it, if we are using, if we are applying low input voltage and it will create an open circuit and it will be turned off. So let's again analyze for NMOS with certain examples. So let's see how NMOS is passing strong logic 0. So here is let's say the voltage source is 0 0.2 volt. And the gate voltage is 5 volt. Let's say the gate voltage is equal to VDD. So we are taking it as high voltage. Let's say it is 5 volt. And the threshold voltage is 1 volt. Now VGS will be VG minus VS. Since VG is having higher potential value compared to VS. So VG minus VS is equal to 5 minus 0 0.2 volt. That is 4.2 volt. So 4.2 volt is already greater than 1 volt. That means VGS is greater than or equal to VTN. Hence, it is actually creating whenever we are applying higher input voltage, that is G equals to 1. Whenever we are creating, whenever we are applying high input voltage, we are seeing a closed circuit is getting formed between drain and the source. So, current will flow from drain to source because drain is connected to higher potential value. So, current will flow from drain to source and whatever the source, val source value will be there, uh, the source terminal value will be there, that exact value will be passed to drain terminal also. So, VD will be equal to VS that is 0.2 volt. So, exactly same value is passed to VD. 
so vs will be equal to vd that means strong logic zero it is passing so nmos passes strong logic zero at high input voltage now let's see how nmos is passing weak logic one so let's see if we are having vg is equal to 0.2 volt let's say vg is equal to vdt as we told for nmos vg is generally will be equal to vdt so and since vdt can never been zero so we are considering vg is equal to 0.2 volt and vs is equal to 5 volt okay that means let's say vs is higher here so that is logic one we are trying to pass logic one now so if we consider the same threshold voltage that is one volt now let's try to calculate vgs so vg minus vs will be equal to 0.2 minus 5 volt that is vs is equal to minus 4.8 volt so now minus 4.8 volt obviously it is less than one volt so vgs is less than vtn that means at low input voltage it is actually creating a open circuit between drain and source terminal so no current will flow so even whatever the source input value was there it is not able to pass directly to the drain terminal so that's why we are seeing there is a weak so nmos is passing weak logic one so we are already having high value at source terminal but we are not able to pass it to the drain terminal that's why nmos passes weak logic one whenever the input voltage is low hence proved thanks for watching this video if you like this information please do hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel also press the bell button don't forget to comment down below your feedback and also don't forget to share it with your friends, colleagues and VLSI aspirants. Thank you.